I'm doing an updated shoulder bag slash like baguette kind of bag. Um, it's probably why I clicked on this video. I'm going to be making a zebra one because I just sold out of all of them. So I'm going to make one of these. And yeah, I'm just going to bring you guys along. I actually filmed one of these like two or three months ago, but the video is horrible. That was my first time ever making a tutorial. I got a lot of questions. So yeah, I just wanted to redo it. Someone asked to do an updated one and I make the bags a little bit differently. It's a little bit easier. And hopefully I can go step by step with you guys. So messy. I'm so bad at cleaning this. I got a crazy amount of questions about what sewing machine I use. So before we get started, I'm going to answer this. I use the Brother JX2417. Sorry for the bad lighting. I really need a ring light. I should really get on that. So this is the fabric I'm using. It's like this zebra fox fur fabric. I bought it from Michaels if you were wondering. And then for the interior, I thrifted a bunch of like black satin material, but I do have some left over that I bought from Michaels. I have this little layout thing. This is the size that I cut my bags. Let me measure it for you guys. So this is 12 by 8 if you guys were wondering on the size that I cut out my bags. And this is with... Um, seam allowance. All you need is some outside material, interior material, a zipper, your sewing machine, pins, and then your little like outline. And I also thrifted this little white zipper that I'm going to be using for this bag. This one's eight inches because I thrifted it, but usually when I'm at the store, I buy seven inch zippers. The very first thing I'm gonna do is lay this material out. Just put that there and then you can pin it. I honestly just go for it and I just cut it. If you're using this material that is from Michaels, please be careful when cutting because it gets super messy. Like this can all literally just come off and it can get really messy in your house. So you wanna clean up right away after. And now I'm gonna cut the other one. For the interior, you wanna just repeat the exact same steps you did to cut out the outside material. And now I'm gonna do the strap. I do 29 by like five inches is what I usually like to do. I'm gonna grab my ruler. When I'm cutting the material, I try to make it as straight as possible. So to do this, as you can see, I'm like folding the material as I'm cutting it. My camera died and I had to wait for it to charge a little bit. So after I'm done cutting all my pieces, I should have, well, I'm not, done yet but I should have three uh, pieces of the fox fur material so I have my strap which is 5 by 28 and then I have these which I believe are 8 by 12 and now it's time to cut the interior I have all my material in there so I'm gonna go grab it real quick I'm gonna save these till I run out okay so I am so sorry this lighting is like so bad I know I already said that I am going to just trace it with this and just cut around and I'll be back when I'm done. Make sure to cut two pieces of this. Voila! I have both of my pieces. I have two of these for the interior. Now it's time to start sewing. If you guys want like a tutorial on like the basics of how to use a sewing machine, just let me know because I could totally do that. I don't personally pin my interior together. I do pin the fox fur together, but just not the interior. Make sure the two inside pieces I want, so like the silky pieces, are facing towards each other and so the only thing on the outside is like not the silky stuff you know what I mean I'm gonna sew down here and down here and down this way but I'm gonna leave just this part open because this is gonna be like top you know like where the zipper is gonna be and I'm gonna use seven and then I have this on five you want to try to sew in a straight line when you're doing this and you only want to do a few centimeters from the edge and also you can see that I'm only sewing three sides and you want to leave one of the wider sides open. That's what it looks like. And now I'm going to repeat the exact same thing. I'm just going to line it up exactly how I want it. I like to pin it down. 
just like that I only use three pins on each side and again I'm only gonna sew the sides and the bottom and I'm gonna make sure I leave the top open repeating the exact same thing that you did for the interior I'm only sewing three sides and leaving one of the wider sides open and you also want to sew kind of close to the edge this fox fur material is a little bit more trickier though just like that now it's time to sew the strap so for the strap i have this really long piece you can pin it together along the way and you want to make sure that your fox fur is facing inwards and this part is going to be on the outside you're gonna fold it inside out if you know what i mean after you're done sewing i don't pin it i find it faster without pinning so as i'm sewing the strap i just line them up as i go I'm going to fold it inside out. I can literally just go like this with my fingers. Um, the tote bags that I make are a little bit harder to do um, with the strap because it's like much longer. It's like 10 inches longer. If you want to buy mine in my bags, I saw them on Depop and Instagram. Depop and Instagram, I'll leave them down below in the description. I have the Daisy Fox fur bag. If you've seen on like Lolita Jade, the zebra, pink zebra, and cheetah. The cheetah is currently sold out, but I hope that on the, this weekend I can go in and buy some more fabric for it. I'm done. This is the cute little strap. The next step, this is where things are a little different. Um, the pattern is obviously different if you watched my other one but now I'm grabbing the strap where I stitched it there's like this line and I want that to be like under here like the inside of the strap so this is gonna be like the outside and I want the outside here like like that and now I'm going to sew this on again you can pin it I really don't pin a lot of the stuff I really should this is the bag and I'm just gonna fold it in a little bit, just a tiny bit, like that. And then I'm gonna grab the strap and I'm gonna put it in just a little bit, like that. And now I'm gonna sew it together. When you're sewing the strap onto the bag, you wanna make sure that it's perfectly in the center. On, and then I have like this little like flappy piece you see from the strap. So I wanna sew that down again. So I'm gonna like stitch it again to make sure that it's also secure. It's time to put the zipper on. I'm going to lay out my purse and then I'm grabbing my zipper. This is like the front and I want the back piece facing out and I want to like put it in the middle as much as possible. I'm going to pin it down in the center. I like to unzip this a little bit and I'm going to sew this on. When I'm sewing the zipper on, I find it really hard to have like a perfect stitch, but it's okay if, if it's a little crooked because we're going to be covering it with the interior and you won't even see the stitching. Voila! The zipper is now on. And now I'm going to grab the interior and I'm going to fold it. This is like the silky side and I want it to be the silky to be outside. And I'm going to put that inside out and then with this silky piece out, I want to line it up with the fox fur. So this is like the nice silky piece. This is what it's looking like. And now I'm going to grab the raw end and I'm gonna fold it in just a little bit with the zipper. And I wanna cover my stitching cause it's kind of awful to be honest. And I'm gonna pin that together. Now I have it pinned with the zipper and it's going to be like that in the inside. And I'm going to start stitching the interior with it folded in all the way over here to the strap. So it's going to be stitched like that with the zipper. It's a lot later. My camera died and I had to wait for it to charge. It died right when I was stitching on the interior. 
So this is what it's looking like and as you can see, so like I stitched on the interior there where like the strap is, if that makes sense. Oh my god, I'm literally stressing because I feel like this is so confusing and I don't know how to explain it any better. But yeah, I stitched it, I stopped there and I started there, okay. So now it's time to do the other side. Um, I don't put this on till last. Um, so I'm gonna fold this like that. Throw that in there. I have it, the material inside. And this is the zipper. So now I'm just gonna line these up. And I'm just gonna pin it. I just pin one in the middle. And now I'm going to sew it. I want to make sure exactly how I want it. And then this goes like that. So I fold in the interior. And I'm just going to leave that open for when I put in the strap. I don't really pin anything down. So after I have the zipper on, I folded it back inside out. The last little part of the bag, I'm going to put it in here, put it in this little pocket I have here, nicely fold it in, and now I can sew this on right here. this is the result of the bag it's so cute look, look at it i love it so much they're literally so adorable and i feel like they're really simple to make i hope my tutorial kind of helped i'm so sad because i ordered these little tags to put i hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys watched all the way to the end you guys are amazing see you guys in my next video